Have you ever wondered why it's called the placebo effect? To unravel the answer, we must journey back to the 13th century, a time when the term placebo stirred thoughts of divinity and mortality, not clinical trials or sugar pills. The roots of placebo lie in Latin, translating to, I will please. According to the Oxford English Dictionary, it was initially the first word of the first antiphon of Vespers in the Office for the Dead, an evening prayer recited by Catholics for the departed. The full line translates to, I will please the Lord in the land of the living. The term soon came to represent the entire prayer. By the 14th century, English speakers had given a secondary, more figurative meaning to placebo, reflecting its literal Latin translation. If someone was said to be singing, making, or playing placebo, it implied they were flattering someone in a servile or sycophantic manner. The journey of the term placebo into the realm of medicine seems quite fitting. Its definition morphed into a term for any drug or treatment designed to make someone feel better, even if it lacked medical potency, echoing its original connotation of pleasing or placating. However, this transition didn't occur until the late 18th century. Physician Andrew Duncan hinted at this modern sense of the term in his 1770 book, Elements of Therapeutics, writing, where a placebo merely is wanted, the purpose may be answered by means, which, although perhaps reduced under the materia medica, do not, however, deserve the name of medicines. The phrase placebo effect didn't become common parlance until the early 20th century. This era also saw the emergence of the term nocebo, a counterpart to placebo, meaning I will harm. Nocebo refers to a medically worthless treatment that causes a patient to feel worse. Despite its widespread usage, the mechanism behind the placebo effect remains a scientific enigma. The journey of the term placebo, from a religious chant to a widely recognized medical term, is a testament to the dynamic nature of language and its deep connection to cultural and scientific evolution.